We gon' do it how you want it, boss talk. Yeah, everybody on it, boss talk. It's a unique hustle, boss talk. Yeah, we came from the struggle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy <laughs> ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. What's up? Nothing, my dad. Hey. What I did the last time to you this time. So. <laughs> yeah, threw me off. Yes. Yeah, yeah. man. Huh? Hey, man. Check it, man. Hey, we got a guest in here today, y'all, man. Hey, man, me and him talked on the phone, man, and we had a solid conversation, man. It's been real, real love ever since me and him started talking. Real enlightening, man. Check it, man. My boy Supreme is in the building. What's happening? Hey, man. So, Supreme is here. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I that am here. That means the best. You know, Supreme. Yeah. But where did the name Supreme come from? That mean the from? best. I know that. You I know, know, but <laughs> was that the initial intent of the name? Yeah. So the name was... um. And how old it, were you when you had it? The name was Bob Supreme, right? Okay. So in the hood, where I'm, you know, where I'm from, they called me Lil' Bob. My daddy is Bob. They called me Lil' Bob. And his name ain't Bob, but that's what they call him. So they called me Lil' Bob. The Supreme came from, um, you know, I used to pump... 93 Supreme in my in my foreign cars and I only smoke the best gas so that's where Supreme came from and yeah yo took the Bob off and started calling me Supreme wow so that's where that's that's where they come from wow I had it for a while before the before the music I was Supreme like this ain't gonna do no music how, how is it how, how is it coming up in Fort Worth man how is that, <laughs> that you know Pete you know you 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 I've been in Dallas for thirty years. Yeah, I, I I came to Fort Worth when I was when I was in the streets. I just was yeah. telling you about that off air. Yeah, <clears throat> but after I you know kind of joined corporate America, I kind of you know I come over there, but it's just going to go to say mineral wells or I, I come through to go to uh yeah. you know those little weatherfoot or something. I'm just coming <laughs> through. You know I stay close yeah. to twenty or if I go eight twenty, I'm just going across to get over. You know what I'm saying? I'm not yeah. stopping yeah, 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 or I'm yeah. meeting somebody to drop off a package or some electronic part or something. Yeah. But <clears throat> not staying in Fort Worth. Yeah. So so what's up with Fort Worth? What part were you from? I'm from the south part of Fort Worth, like Berry Hill. Um Fort Worth is a uh, it's a unique place, man. It's it's black gold there, but a lot of it don't get to flourish because of the environment. You know what I'm saying? It's a uh, you know it, it is whatever you didn't heard. So it's a reason why. I mean, you ain't scared of nothing, but no, no, no. It's a reason why you you're not stopping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You know, Fort Worth is it's 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 like I said, it's got some things there. Uh, you know that you can you know, if you can. Then I'm gonna say this: if you can make it and survive in Fort Worth and still be yourself and not try to be nobody else. You can survive anywhere. Yeah, okay. yeah. Square business. When I first came over there, like I said, I got family over there. Mm -hmm. I still got family over there to this day. You yeah. know, um, my uncle he left uh, the country and moved to Fort Worth. Yeah, and he had a son named Perry just died. Actually, Perry Smith, and one of my okay. cousins. I got he had about four boys over there, mm -hmm. and we all, I would come over there for the, when I was young. Yeah, um, my uncle he talked about when he got scared over there. Somebody put a gun on. He was about eight. He always tell me that story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because he was in the store messing around. He said, man, Fort Worth, something else, man. My, yeah. You know, his bro oldest brother, was like, he passed away now, though, the oldest brother. But, yeah, definitely, man, when I would come, uh, yeah, you knew where you was at. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah. know, and our people over there, see. Mm -hmm. And that's what I do. Like, anywhere I go, Supreme, I always go to the hood anyway. Yeah. If I'm in Vegas, I'm in the hood. She'll yeah. tell you. She be does. With, if I'm in Chicago, Chicago I'm in the hood. Chicago, he did the same thing. I go, thing. that's where the good food at. Mm -hmm. So I, <laughs> that's where the best food is. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Sure. So that, that, I got to go to two the hood. Things, two things we look for. We look for the hood and we look for a Jamaican spot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah my wife, Jamaican. Yes, yeah, sir. That's what we okay. do, man. So where would I eat at if I came over to Fort Worth? Best, best eating spot in Fort Worth. And do y'all have any Jamaican spots over there? Uh-oh. Yeah, they got Jamaican spots. <laughs> you got to go to... um. See, you know, I live in Atlanta now. So I know you live in Atlanta, <laughs> but that's your home. Your heart is in he Fort forgot, Worth. He forgot about Fort Worth. <laughs> nah, hell, he, he could never get it. He could is. never. He could never. Um, dang, what's that place called? I go there when I come home, too. I can't. It, it's it's going to come to me while we talking. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. Gonna tell you. Okay, don't forget now. Yeah, I got I ain't, you. I'm going to hold you, you know, to it. Stormy's is cool. Stormy's okay. is, is a nice soul food spot. Uh, I can't, man. It's and gonna this come is to the best Jamaican spot out there. Nah, it's not the best Jamaican. The best Jamaican spot that I knew of, she ain't there no more. Um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, I, yeah. I've been in Atlanta like six and a half years. Whoa, so, yeah. whoa! You been go, you, but you frequent though. You back I'll be and back forth. and forth, but I, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I I go to Fort Worth, or I might be in Dallas, or I might, you know, I be all over. Why did you move to Atlanta? 
um <laughs> I was uh I was married in Atlanta. Hmm. Yeah. Was I, married in Atlanta. Yeah, so I that was means not married. married nah, in. I'm happily divorced. <laughs> Already. So growing up as a youngster in Fort Worth, uh, what did Supreme strive to do? What did Supreme strive to be? Oh. I'm talking about from I'm talking about from ten to ten to eighteen. All right, so you can tell you the truth? Yeah, the yeah. truth. All right. So my mama had me when I was, when she was in high school. You okay. feel me? So I'm a high school baby. So okay. I, I grew up fast. I learned a lot of stuff quick. You know what I'm saying? I know how to cook dope at 12. Already. But that's not something that I wanted to do. Okay. I, I saw every type of male figure that you could think of. Um, and I would just pick from them the good parts that I thought was good at the time at being an adolescent. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, you never met your dad? Yeah, my dad deceased, but yeah, I met him. Yeah, okay. he, yeah, he, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, somebody killed him, you know? Uh, but yeah, 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 I, I, I met him, you know what I'm saying? Well, what, was it, uh, did, how old was you when somebody killed him? I was 12. Oh, you was 12, so yeah. you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cause my daddy got shot in the head, and I was about five. Mine too. He got shot, but he's, he, but he's still alive. Yeah, he's, no, he died. He died later on. But he, no, I'm talking. I'm t yeah, yeah, but, but when the bullet time. hit, it didn't go through, and he keep it in his pocket. Keep it. He better he used keep, to keep it in his that pocket bullet in his sure. pocket. It yeah. flattened. It reminded. Yeah. Him. It reminded him, bro. And uh, boy, Wiley did that. And then my other uncle got killed in the same gambling shack. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I come up. I, like I said, my other they brother he moved to Fort Worth, so okay, yeah, it was nine boys and five girls. Okay, yeah, deep. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, like let's get back to you though. So when you was uh, coming up, you cooked dope. Okay, at twelve, you knew how to whip. Yeah. Okay. So at the end of the day, you 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 were doing it just for them. They pay you. See, I didn't. That wasn't when when I was being taught that I I knew what I was being taught. You feel me? But it, it, he wasn't going to let me go. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't going to do nothing with it. You know of course, what I'm saying? He was just showing saying, me. Okay, he just wanted you to know. Yeah, and when I turned 17 is when you I... got real. Yeah. Okay. See, what I'm telling you right now, people don't even know this. No, 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 like, I get it. I, I ain't it. never said none of this on no other no platform. Other platform. I like that. Me? I like that. I'm just telling you the truth. No, no, because we just, it's real talk. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I appreciate you for sharing because somebody else might, I mean, I know I did things when mm -hmm. I was young too. Yeah. You know, as far as in the game, you know, as yeah. far as um, from state, city to city, state to state. Mm -hmm. So we grew up in that way. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And now kids is having to deal with different type of deals, but the same. Just for like as we drugs, had, you know what I mean? And far as just just hustling and trying to, mom not in the house, mm -hmm. dad's been locked up in prison. Uh, a lot of the time we started that prison wave when them kids was coming up yep. in the 90s and all that yep. coming up. So now we look at the kids and we wonder why, what happened to them? Hell, we what happened to them. Y'all, the, well, this is how I look at it. I'm in my 30s, right? Yeah, correct. So them, them cats that was 45 and up, mm -hmm. they got rid of y'all. That's right. Y'all got killed off. Or either locked up. Or locked up. That's you right. You feel me? And that, that hurt that hurt everything because y'all the live as cats. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The mm -hmm. 50s, them, them, them mid 40s going That's on right. up, those are live as guys. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like our people. And and I, I you know, they, they did that to y'all. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you know a lot of them was falsely accused. A lot of them. For sure. A lot of stuff was yeah. going on where they, they still trying to get people out of those situations. Still trying to get them out. They did that. with They manipulated us with, with drugs and everything mm -hmm. else. And they knew they was manipulating us, throwing court appointed on us. We didn't understand. You know, yeah. we going in courtroom. We don't have no way to fight or fend for ourselves. Mm -hmm. we, we, you know, at the end of the day, some of us did, you know, grab lawyers when it got serious. But we didn't have nobody. Yeah. And we don't know the court system. Yeah, our people didn't. You know, that's yeah. that's not none of nobody that looked like us is in there. Yeah, most of the time. Yeah, so all the time, really. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you know, yeah. And then if they look like us, they ain't, they ain't our way for us. They sold us out. You know what I'm saying? You're you right. Know. You're right. So and what I think about when you were telling me what um, you were doing at twelve, I thought about Archivius because Archivius was in the same situation as another mm -hmm. guest that was on here, in North Carolina, where right. he was in a dope house, um, cooking up dope and doing all of that at 12 years old yeah. and he said he had no other choice but to do that because nobody gave him a choice yeah. he did there was no other avenue yeah because my view is always like there must have been another way there must have been another option because sometimes when we're faced with diversity and i know at that time you're still a kid so you really don't think 
outside of the box a lot of times. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times after something ends and you look back on the situation, you're like, you know what? I could have done this instead. I could have done that. As I was just blinded yeah. to that. You know what I mean? Yeah. The, the thing with me was that, like, I didn't know that it that it wasn't right or wrong because I see all this. I see the money. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Um, but I did know that, like, the people he was, you know what I'm saying, the, the guy who showed me, uh, he was dealing with, like, like we knew them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was like, well, hold on, you know. But I, I hung around 17-year-olds when I was 12, so this wasn't no, like, I like I, I, I knew what was going I've been knowing what was up with me, E, since I was 12. Wow. I, I knew who I was. I knew what was going on. Like, um, a lot of people didn't. And they still don't now, yeah. but I was blessed enough to to know who I was at that age. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I, I, those things were happening, and they was doing like this. And like she said, you don't think about it until after the fact. Mm -hmm, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because that's just um, for worth. You the, the kids grow up fast. There, we grow up fast. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm not the only one. Like I ain't telling you nothing. No, that no, you no, 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 no. I get you know it. I get it. I mean, it, not only do you grow up fast, but it's a normal thing. Yeah. It becomes normal because everybody around you doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So everybody, but you might just do it a little better. Yeah. And for yeah. some, but you're still doing the same thing. So, especially for some single moms, it's normal. They accept it because they're like, okay, you go over here and do that. Mm -hmm. She didn't know. Oh, oh, okay, that's what she, I was trying to figure out. She still out. don't know. You done got me in trouble. <laughs> if boss talk, she boss talk one on one, man. She she didn't she didn't she didn't know that. Like she didn't know that. So you know I, so she didn't catch you with no big money. And be like, where did you get that from and so stuff like that. She when when I was seventeen uh, is when she caught me. E. <laughs> <laughs> She got him. Yeah, we was, we was, we was, we was. Me and my partner, we was in there cutting it up in the bathroom, in the room, in the room, man. She and bust through she there, bust up in there, man. And uh, yeah, then another time she caught me, I had a trash bag full in my in my in my guns. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and when she caught me that time, like I didn't even say nothing. I just grabbed my stuff and I just left. Wow. And I ain't never go back. You wow! So that's when you left. So yeah, the that's first when I time left. she called you, what did she say? The first time she called you, I had to get out. I went to stay with my granny. <laughs> Got to get I had out to of get here. Get out then. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. when Mama gonna do it. You get put out for a little bit. You come mm -hmm. back over. Yeah, you, I, she let me come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. So how, gang violence over there, man. It's yeah. gang uh, in in Fort Worth. You hear about Bloods and Crips. Uh, how when did how did how did that affect Supreme? All right, so I'm from a Crip neighborhood. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and people people know what's up with me, you know, but I wasn't I wasn't just like like heavy with it. Yeah. But I was I was I was not even wouldn't say there. But I was there, but it was more than there. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I, like I'm from that's where I'm from. I see OG Percy that um when I think you know, he rap like yeah. hardcore. Yeah. You know, I never never talked to him, never met him a day in my life, but I just seen it. I see him. Nick can rap though. Yeah. I love the way that nigga spit. I was like, that nigga did us justice down there on yeah. that eighty five South show. Yeah. I'm like, I, I ain't know what to think when Shout I see out him. Shout out to OG Percy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. he definitely he held it down on that. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, that nigga can rap, nigga. Yeah. I had never heard him before that day because yeah. I, I wasn't checked into him like that. He's part of that black gold I was telling you. Speaking on that's in Fort Worth, he 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 black gold. You okay, know what I'm saying it's, yeah, it's there, man. So so when when um when you when you were coming up, you was uh you was on that side of town. Mm -hmm. uh, niggas know what you was with. Yeah, period. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, any kids when you were younger? Or just nah nah. I, I just had my first son four years ago. Okay okay, yeah. that's that's dope. I, you did I had it a right. mishap when I was 16. A little uh little thing go on, but. Yeah, nah, that's my first child. Wow, man, that's dope, mm -hmm. boy. Yeah, for sure. Man, that's dope, man. Prince O'Shea. How that? How that? Man. How that affect you? Man, I, got, <laughs> I went outside to talk on the phone with him. Did you? Yeah, how yeah, how my, is he not for? He four. four. That's my guy, man. Man, that's, that's dope, guy. man. I was so that's gonna with bring your ex wife. Yeah, look at her. Yo, she pulling, man. That's, <laughs> that's she gonna do it. That's a woman perspective. That's what you get with us. Like that's I think that's what make us different. Like yeah. the woman perspective versus the man, yeah. and then you talking. And it, and, and woman, I think one I, thing I realized the difference between women and men. 
And you can tell me if I'm right or wrong, because I noticed that is that we women are very detailed. We want to know yeah. facts, and yeah. we, wanna, we don't care. We we yeah. try to tell you every little thing, and y'all are like, okay, let's get to the point. <laughs> That's to us. Point. Yeah, it's with my ex-wife. So 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 Supreme single now. Oh, for sure. Ooh, he said, for sure. Atlanta yeah. in trouble. Sure. Dallas in trouble. Fort Worth in trouble. <laughs> hey, look out. Supreme is single. Yeah, so like, does your baby actually, live here or in Atlanta? We live in Atlanta. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, he, so he with his mom right now because I had to come talk to boss talk. You but do you got okay. custody of him? No, we, so we, we. Y'all share. It's yeah, a, it's yeah. We, I dope. get him for this amount. She get him for this that's amount. Dope. That's what we okay, do. You know okay, what I'm saying? that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's a dope deal. I just uh, took him. Uh, he just went back with her yesterday. You know man. what I'm saying? I flew here this morning. That's dope, man. Like yeah. I said, man, you. I just like the the fact that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the part right there. People don't realize, you know, uh, that that means something to him. You know, that he light yeah. up when you say yeah. that's the real right there. That's Prince where I'm O'Shea. at with it. Prince yeah, O'Shea. yeah. You name that boy. Like short that for name. the O'Shea is short for Ocean. I just took the end. I, I was gonna man. name him Ocean, but I was like, nah, we gonna do this. I like O'Shea, O'Shea though. O'Shea. Yeah, I like O'Shea. Yeah, I do too, man. Prince man O'Shea is congratulations, that guy. man, Appreciate on having a son. Most O'Shea. niggas can't. These niggas have no son. You the only <laughs> nigga have a little girl or something. He wants more. He. Well, do you want more? Yeah, I might, I might, I might do some, I might do some, uh, I might do some one more time, maybe, depending on what's going. Or, or now, if I ain't got no woman, I'm going on a spree. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I might go on and do that, but I'm, but, but, but this is the thing with me though. Like I told, oh, say, Mama, just give him to me. Yeah, like I want him. At some, like, at one, at some point, yeah. he coming. You ain't got to yeah. worry about that. He's part. coming soon. With thirteen or twelve or thirteen, that boy ain't, ain't for the. He gonna come with you. He coming before then. No, no, I'm just saying. At that point, yeah, he's gonna, gonna come. Oh, he yeah. ain't gonna be no problem because he ain't. Woman ain't gonna be the. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And nah. He's something else too. He's something else. He's a lot to handle. Yeah, he's something else. <laughs> he know who, he got a personality already. He a cool kid. Like yeah, I ain't yeah, just yeah. saying it because he mine. Yeah, like, yeah. The guy is like he he. You know what I'm saying? He know what's going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so you ever bring back with you and take him to yeah. Fort Worth? Is yeah. your mom and everybody still in Fort Worth? Everybody in Fort Worth. Okay, so yeah, yeah. he got to come home. Yeah, sometime he got to come get spoiled yeah. by grandma. They were waiting on him. That Yeah, yeah, yeah. They I already know him, it. Yeah. I already know it. No, Shay. <laughs> so how many brothers and sisters did you have? I, I got two that. younger sisters. Two, this, you the only boy? I'm the oldest, too, yeah. Wow, that's dope. Mm-hmm. You ain't yeah, playing by this sister. Huh? Is that the only grandbaby? Um, Your son is that? There? No, no, no. She, my, my mom got my sister got children. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. But but the, but the trip is, I'm talking about when you were coming up and them two sisters, they younger like that. Mm-hmm. You weren't playing about them sisters. Oh no, 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 no. Ain't playing at all. I, had, I had to learn the hard way though. E. I mean, one time they called me and I went over there. And you know what I'm saying? I ended up in the back of a police car. Wow. Then I had an old school partner of mine named Flip. He said, "Hey, little Bob, let me tell you this." You know, you can go over there and do whatever you're going to do. He, you might do it to him. He might do it to you. But whatever go on, she's going to be right back with him. Exactly. That's right. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Since then, I kind of tread softly how they don't call me no more. But, it, like, I'll take them calls. Like, hey, what really going on? Because so I'm think, not going to do that. you think before yeah, you make your move sure. on it. Now, I don't blame you on that. You yeah, got man, to, man. Because they, you know how it go. Yeah, so let, let's get on the music a little bit. I want to get on the wave of how you end up managing artists artists uh from from Goyeo to uh to 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 K Breezy mm-hmm. just that whole situation how did how did the go go Yeo and you how did y'all meet um my home girl uh they had a they had a, a they knew each other you know what i'm saying Yeo's younger than us um she brought Yeo to me you feel okay. me i was in Atlanta we were sitting on the porch just talking me her and my and my ex-wife and um you know, we were just talking at this time, this when Empire was out. The yeah, show, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cookie Lions was yeah, popular. Yeah, yeah. And she act like Cookie. So I was like, hey, you need to go on and manage little I I I called him little pistol starter. That's what the name I gave him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? This before I, I, anything that everybody ever seen. I that was the name. He didn't know that, you know what I'm saying? That was a little joke that I had. Yeah, so yeah. You yeah. need to go on and manage little pistol starter. She was like, Nah, B, you need to manage him. I said, manage him. I was like, I don't know how to do that. She was like, Look, I'm gonna go get him, I'm gonna bring him back out here. And she went and got him and brought him back, and we sat in my in my in my my sunroom, and he let me hear boom and damn it, man, and like I I told him I looked at him I said hey I don't know what I'm doing but we are gonna learn this together okay and it's like I went to sleep e and woke up and my phone was going off the hook wow that's what happened so basically you just got pushed into it with him you, yeah the, the you music game into it with him g- grab me you yeah yeah me? yeah I wasn't yeah. looking for it I didn't know no I didn't know what was going on in forward I didn't know nothing about none of that so. 
as I find out about yeah, yo, me being who I am up here, I start peeling back the layers, you feel me? So yeah. I found a, 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 a Spud Boom, a Stop Six Low Key, yeah. a, a J-O, you okay. feel me? And they just, so I was like, this is some whole shit going on down there. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I got into it. Yeah. And me and Breezy um, got together, uh, Sean on the beat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Shout out Sean on the beat. I talked and to him the other boy, day. Uh, he... Tell you need yeah yeah yeah. Sean, I talk to him. Yeah, that? Sean, where you be? Yeah, yeah. I actually call him. I'm trying to figure out if I could get him on here because yeah. what I'm doing, like I tell my wife, I, I'm trying to get producers yeah. to come on and do a listening session. Did she tell y'all she do beats? Yeah, she did. Yeah, she I'm gonna have. I'm a, she the only oh, she female, fire. so I'm gonna I'm have to bring her back she to where Jeff we do the listening session. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. So Sean, me and Sean was um, I think he might have sent me breezy or, I think that's what happened. Like he was like, hey, check this out, B, and I was like, all right. So I'm checking it out, and as I'm checking it out, she DMs me. She was like, hey, we gonna work. And that's what happened. So it was like the universe did that, like, like. So did you, have you ever managed anybody outside of Yayo and Breezy? Yeah, hey, yeah, Kenny yeah. B. I got Kenny B. Yeah, Kenny B. Yeah. Ken, I, yeah, that's Kenny me. B. Yeah, that's all Supreme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a kid named J.O. Uh, I was working with Miss Deb. I need Kenny B on this show, too. His, his brother gonna come on here. Okay. Stop Six Little Kids, his brother. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? And we'll get to that, but. That's all good. Yeah, Miss Deb, out. I was working with a kid named J.O. with Miss Deb, and Rock Nation wanted him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You talking uh, about Deb? Uh, yeah, yeah, his mama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Walker Flocka yeah, mama. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's I call her Mima. Already, man. Yeah, That's uh, dope. And, yeah, so, yeah, I, 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 but see, the thing with me, so how you can get people to, to, to come on, probably not your platform, but to go do interviews and bring my name up um, with any kind of, Discretion or like like thing any negativity is because I ain't never failed. That's since good. I jumped in the game. I, I'm I'm you know what I'm saying. I, I've been on a you know and I ain't been doing this long. So you gotta understand you got a lot of older cats that see been supreme doing this a long and they time. fuck with me. But they're like, how did you do this? Or who, who, my hands ain't dirty or messed up from this e. But let me tell you something. How God, old were you that, when you started? Go ahead. How old was I? Start yeah, managing. managing. I start managing like how many years ago. <laughs> Uh, what were we in 2021 uh, six years ago now yeah barely six years ago yeah yeah, yeah. it was my first artist and, I, and but I ain't never stopped I've been doing this every day for six years so I've gotten great at it yeah you dig what I'm saying yeah yeah, yeah. Um, man that's dope so that's how you get people to you know and I know these people really don't hate me or dislike me because they don't know me yeah yeah yeah, yeah. They some of them want to be in my position they don't want to be me they want to yeah. be in my position or they, you know, they just feel some kind of way about themselves, and they don't pick, but they, they just be lame. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you feel but, like this is what you were meant to do? Yeah. So, so well, I'm gonna say this. This is a stepping stone for what I was meant to do, but I needed to do this in order to get to that. In order place. to get to that. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I like it. I like it. So, sure. so are you? Um. Are, so. You and Yeo, do y'all still have a relationship? Do you talk to him or anything? Nah, he's incarcerated. Yeah, I know that. Uh, but nah, I don't talk to him. Um, okay. I'm hoping to. So do you guys? You guys are okay though. But yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. We, me and Yeo ain't never had no problem. You know okay. what I'm saying? Contrary to what people may believe, me and him ain't never had no issue. I left because of the people around him. Yeah. See, I kind of I have a um, I have a gift of kind of know him discernment yeah Spirit shit discernment. that's gonna happen yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying yeah, so yeah. I, I I'm, I'm telling yeah yo when I the last day we, I'm talking to him with my eyes like I'm gone little bro and I pat him on his back you feel me cause he know I loved him you yeah, know and I know yeah. how he felt about me and I, I I had tried to leave prior to that but he you know he was like nah big bro we we almost there you can't go in but I couldn't take it no more that last time, and that's when I that's when I departed. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. But you, when, so you departed. Once you departed, did you have any other artists at that time that you were managing? I had I had J O. Okay, you yeah, had J O. So, yeah, J O. I had Yayo and J O at the same time, <laughs> for sure. And then um, when when Yayo stopped working, I already had J O going. So and he was in Atlanta. He was okay. on TV and everything. Okay. Growing up, hip hop ATL. He was on a uh, Little Women ATL. Like, okay. but he's a dope. Musician, he sings, raps, he dance, he Where's records. he at now? He's in Fort Worth. And, and he not doing, are you? you, you nah, I don't work with him. Okay, okay. So you know. But you, you did have a good run with oh, him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you know when, uh, um, let me see how I can put this, E. Um, when they when they get away from me or whatever uh, the situation may be, 
it, it doesn't always uh, end well for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I was thinking a while ago. I was about to ask you, I was like, so when you part your ways, is it that you left them to do better, that they move on to somebody bigger, or? I mean, when, like, so bigger, I am, I, I, that's me. <laughs> You feel me? You got that right. Or, or to sign to like a major label. That, and it, uh, but see, see, if I was an artist and me and he was working, I would still take him with me. It don't matter uh, if they sign or not. He coming with me. You the label. He's coming with me. I ain't trying to hear that. Y'all want me to sign his paper, we get, you know what I'm saying, get his money. He coming with me. And if he ain't coming, then I'm finna go. But a lot of people are not loyal. No, like they don't that. do that. They don't understand mm-hmm. that. You feel me? And, yeah. and that's when I get I, on. I, like I told, I think I told Sean Cotton, and I'll tell you, and I told numerous people that sit in that seat, I have trust issues when it comes to artists. I don't trust. You should. I like, like I feel like it's like a, I'm just a bag. Let me tell you something. Did you hear what I just said? Heck yeah. Like, I'm just somebody they would want to use for resources. To climb up on it and, and then they're they they going to do what they do and move mm-hmm. on. Uh, 80 80, 83 percent of them gonna do that. Okay. K Breezy has is is man like I love that I love that girl. You wow. Hear me? That's she, dope. she 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 ain't never flaked. Nah, man. And and if any, it don't matter who it is or what they talking about. You need to talk to Supreme. Wow. Are we gonna dope. talk to him together? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. That's, she that's, followed that's the loyalty. Product. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? And that's from that's from a woman. Yeah. You dig? Um. Do you prefer managing women artists than men artists? She's my only. Well, she's 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 your first female. No, nah, she's artist. not. She's not really. Well, yes, yeah, she's my first uh, female artist, and but I do well with both. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do well with both. I'm so, I'm, I'm okay. So I, go ahead. Because okay, because I'm hearing like when you have people and you and um you let them go or you know part your ways. Because managing people or dealing with people or even just running a business where you have to be um, supervising someone else is hard because people don't always do what you tell them to do and mm-hmm. so forth. Looking back at certain situations that you've been in, do you see where you could have probably handled something different? Because the only person you can control is yourself. You can't control the other person. But it, do you see certain situations where you could have handled it differently to have a better outcome that they could probably still be with you right now? Um, because how you challenge diversity or like you have an issue that come up and you have to handle it. Sometimes the way how you handle things depends, it narrates your outcome. You know what I mean? So I'm, do you feel like it's some things that you could have done differently to, to, to keep those artists a little longer? Mm-hmm. Is that what you're saying? Um, no. <laughs> Why not? I did everything I could. I mean, cause, cause, well, I'm going to say this in, 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 um, being wiser than I was when I worked with the ones right. that I yeah, stopped working yeah, with, yeah. I'm gonna say, of course. But if if and this is not me just feeling like that. If there was no ill doing on my part, or if there, if I did my job that you asked upon me, and then some, because I was way more than a manager. Like that manager shit is, I've been past that two three years ago. E, you feel me? Then I'm gonna say, hell no, nah, because I yeah. did that. Like I got you signed. Like like you had a muscle shirt on when you came to me. You feel me? And I ain't spent a lot of money to do this, E. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't spent no money. Yeah, but see, see, one thing I can say is I can attest to the fact that once something done is done, God is the one who wrote it out. For sure. So basically, mm-hmm. once it's over, it's over. Yeah. You know, and at the end of the day, I think you exactly where you're supposed to be. I think you dealt with the people that God had put in your life for yeah. the time that he had put them in your life. So therefore, now you've just evolved. Yeah. And, and there's things now, doors that's going to open for you that's on a whole nother level. Yeah. And like you said earlier, I listen good. In order to get to where you at now, you had to go through some of those for things. Sure. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And you know that you're on path to, to, to greatness, even though you've been dealing with great, no doubt. more greatness to come. No doubt. So, and, and you feel good about where you're at. Yeah, I feel great. But the reason why I asked that question. Ain't got that little boy now. The reason dope. why I asked that question is the fact that not for looking past in the back and thinking that I wish I still had them. Mm-hmm. It's, lo- it's looking I at. I wish I still had them, though. I ain't gonna. I'm, I ain't gonna. I, you know, what I'm saying that's I a do. good heart. Yeah, yeah. I, I wish I still had them because I and they know that too. They just it, so. I mean to cut you off. No, go ahead. The pride, you feel me? Yeah. That's what that is. Cause them little dudes know what's up with me. They know exactly what's up with me. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you might have to just reach out and just. I've, I, I, you know, I, 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 I've done that. Um, I worked back with 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 um with one of them before. Um, I've tried to do things with another one. Uh, with, with all of them, man. I don't, mm-hmm. I, I'm really like That's that. Good, you know man. what I'm saying? But I was thinking about growth wise because sometimes when you, you have to look back at some of your failures and really look at them like, okay, how could I handle that differently? Because God have a way of sometimes putting that same situation maybe with a different person back right in front of you because you haven't learned what you need to learn over how done it. Good. you see what i mean he's that's done good. it so that's why i say you always have to look back at certain situations and say because at that time when you're in a situation like what i was talking about earlier you don't see all of the different avenues mm-hmm. that you can take but now that situation has passed you can really sit down where there's nobody around nobody judging you and you can look back and say you know what i could have handled that differently i could have said it in this way instead of that way because sometimes saying the smallest little thing in the wrong way can piss somebody off and make you just go in a different way but it's all about deliverance of how you want to communicate what you need to communicate let me ask you this when 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 supreme is going through a situation or if he's trying to stretch who do he talk to um who's your big bro i talk to i talk to myself i talk to I, you see where I'm coming from? If yeah. it's ever, because I had a my mentor died. I, I got I, some. And uh, I, had, I had a guy that I would go to, like if I was trying to buy a million dollar building, you know that, and and he would tell me, "Hey, I got five of them." I got. And, a, uh, I and got you some, see what I'm saying? I got some guys I, I refuel with. Yeah, you, know what you, I'm you saying? see where I'm coming yeah. from? Because that's you got to have that. Yeah, and, and and you can call it mentorship. You can call it just somebody who God put you around, or it could be somebody that you just basically. Um, Came to know it could be a quick relationship, kind of like some of the people we've met in Cali and stuff, you know. But those people have to be there because we don't know everything, right? Somebody who's more experienced yeah. at whatever you need to know at that time. When it comes to music and and this and whole time of thing, shit. Uh, I'm gonna tell you this. So I've been blessed enough to be able to be able to be able to call DOC. That's dope. From NWA. That's dope. That's Bay, dope. Bay Bay. I, he just texted me the other day. That's um, dope. Miss Deb, you feel me? That's dope. Uh, who else? Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm pretty slick myself too, though. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm looking at you. I'm you know listening to you. So, and I love the way it's some about these managers. You know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. They have this demeanor about them. <laughs> I, I'm watching everything. I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I love to assess what's going on around yeah. me, bro. and I'm looking at it. And I thank God for you, brothers. I'm being real because because, because you, you can tell the ones who who really who really really got the right heart for these yeah. people, man. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm being real. Yeah. Like like because because somebody got to be there when 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 things get tough. These artists a lot of times need guidance, bro. Yeah, I'm being real. Yeah, and if they don't have the right guidance, they can end up. Sometimes in the wrong contract, sometimes dead. dead. Do you hear me? You see that what I'm saying? Dead. It, it's all about uh, it's all about how you how you how you guide that situation because yeah. you got the keys to the car. Yeah, I mean it's like this too. If 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 I feel like my key won't fit in that ignition no more, it's time for me to get out the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't exhaust it all. You resources are dealing with that so individual. I'm, I'm gone. I gotta go. You, you got some gas in the car. You, you know what I'm saying. You get. You maybe you can get the key in there, but I, I, I'm gone. I'm out. I ain't gonna yeah. mess with it. That's no what more I do. So I don't want to mess you up or me up. When you go down the street and you die, yeah, that's not on me. That's dope. I you get it. Me? No, I get it. Yeah. You, you, but, but you, you, and then there it is again. That's the spirit of discernment where you can see with ta- you can see what's up ahead. Yeah. And you know, it's like Jesus. You turn the other cheek. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. You see where I'm coming from? After that, you've exactly. done yeah, you've done. Yeah, you, you already do. know. Now you see. You say, "Let me just turn another cheek." Yeah, I ain't gonna even go that way because I know see, what's they, over there. This ain't. This I ain't trying to look cool. These are my antennas to the universe. E. Already, this ain't for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Going on. Definitely, man. Yeah. So, um, go ahead. I'll let. You, I know you got some. You, I seen you geared up. So, shift your um, shoulders back. Yeah. What is if I wanted to know? Well, I do want to know. Um, what is the job description of a manager? Um. So, I plus I, more because, as you said, you're not just a typical manager. Plus more, like, what are the things that you do? I'm gonna speak for my section, which is Fort Worth and Dallas. I, I fucked the game up and did everything <laughs> because I didn't know what I was doing. But I felt like I took the calls for the shows and the bookings. I I I, I might have spun this to do this. 
I, 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 you call me with this, I'm gonna come pick you up. Like you come stay with me. My artist lived with me. Wow. You know, you could live with me, you know what I'm saying? So, but, and I didn't really find out after after the fact that the managers, it wasn't, you, you really gotta have something to manage before I can even try to manage you. That's the part where I, I seen you know that, I seen saying? that, I, then I see it. And I would tell each person when they would come to me and ask me about that. I usually would turn it because I'm a business dude. I'll flip it and make it to where they got to come up with a business or something yeah. to where we can make generate some yeah. revenue. But I wouldn't do nothing with them for us, their brand because you don't have nothing. I created, we created you them. You creating yeah, the brand. That's the difference yeah. between me. This ain't no, um, see now I get that. But what that. gave you the, 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 the and, I, and I can ask this, what gave you the, 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 passion and uh what made you feel like you could do it and it would be okay because i feel like i you was see helping, what I'm saying? i was helping young black men that's what that's what this okay. was about this wasn't about no the music it was just a that's just how it came to me but my goal you know what i'm saying before the music that's what i did like i worked at the community center i did boy scouts you know what I'm saying? Just to help them little dudes or whoever I came across. It wasn't about no so that's money. That's what gave you the courage to, yeah, to do so it. When she brought me yeah, yo, I, I, I know what gold looked like. The, the nigga was live. Like, I was well, shit. Let's go. We This is what we finna do. You done came to me. You let, Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? So that's mm -hmm. how that happened. It, it was always to help the young black men. That's, that's, that's a good reason. Yeah, that's the reason. That's, that's the, your why. That's the, that's the absolute truth. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, that's still how I feel right now. Yeah, you know what I'm but, saying. But look, look, you got man, K Breeze a beast. So you got you got oh, yeah, K Breeze. She holds some other. I, I, I really, I need to, I need to check into. Uh, Did you hmm? finish telling all the things that manager is supposed to yeah, do? Yeah, 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 yeah. She might want some Shit, more. Man. What they supposed to do? Uh, <laughs> and what or, they do? That's two different or things. Or what do huh? you do? Because you can only speak for yourself. Shit, I didn't done it all. Uh, he said they stayed at you, stayed with you. I'm a, you book I'm a, the shows. You do all of that. What else? I'm kind of like on a um, like your it counselor. Ain't, it ain't yeah. It ain't really no no. It ain't no no. Say they didn't live with him. It ain't no no with me. You feel me? Like this 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 because when we lock in, it's family. You dig? Okay. It, it ain't nothing there. The music comes second. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is this we doing family shit. I got a question for you. When Kenny B got into it, Rainwater, what did you say to him? Um. So At I, that airport, I told him. Uh, I wasn't managing Kenny then, but I was still talking oh, you to Kenny. Okay. No, 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 right. no, no, no. Well, then you but might I can't still, speak I still on text him. No, I can speak okay. on that. I told him. I said, uh, um, well, I can't tell you what I said. He, oh, okay. <laughs> you know <what> <laughs> he first started like teasing. I like it. I told him. You know what I'm saying? I told him a few things. Like, yeah, you know, no, no, a big brother way, in a big brother yeah. way. Okay. But that's what he's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, you know, because cause, cause somebody got to be a guide. Somebody got to be a bridge instead of a wall. For sure. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, you done got me like this and you ain't really, you know what I'm saying? You well, know the, what I'm the saying? thing I say is, and this is the I really want to say some names, E, but we're going to keep no, it no, cool. No, we're going to keep no. it real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, I, I, but I love the fact that I, I, that's the manager part of you. Yeah. That, that, that part of you that know, okay, this this you you on here and you know already the people looking up to you. The, the people that you done managed already, the people that you going to manage. Mm hmm no, I did not. You see, because you are you still in that whole you in that field. If yeah. somebody don't come next, you know, you the one that they can come to and they, and you can show them the game. Yeah, you see sure. what I'm saying. When so I get so much game, either the people it. that's not even my artist. Exactly. So when they look at a podcast or something or look at you on different platforms, then they know, hey man, if I need some, I can go holler at Supreme because sure. he the dopest dude that I see, and I love the way he moving. Yep. People can tell just by the way right. you carry yourself. Yeah. But you, you learn yourself yeah. up for future artists when exactly. you do that. Just like when we think about That's how I got um, breezy. Uh, that real talk. Mm -hmm. People you just just see that that mm -hmm. spirit that, that permeates. Let me tell you what she said. She said, I see what you're doing in Fort Worth and we gonna work. Wow, that's dope. Yeah. She's from Oak Cliff. She not uh, from yeah, Fort Yeah, Worth. she said that, yeah. You know that's that's dope, man. Just like when you think about Flex and Fab. You know, he gets beats from Zay Tobin, yeah. But Zay Tobin just does that out of the kind of Just give it to him. That dude He was on here too. Zay? No, I'm talking about uh, Flex, Flex and Fab. Fab. I heard but of Zay, him. But Zay, Zay posted my stuff Zay on his is page. A, Zay is a good dude. Yeah, yeah, I can tell. So I had Yayo with Zay and I had Kenny B. I'll show you the pictures right now with, with Zay in the studio in Atlanta. Like, he's a good dude. That's I, And I can tell. Me and him, mm -hmm. we get, like me and you on the Instagram, yeah, we go back and he'll, forth. He'll do that too. Yeah, he'll, sure. he ain't going to, he hit me back. What do you want to do with these artists and stuff like that? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, man, I'm just doing a podcast. I really ain't 
down with just trying to move nothing with no artists. I'm just well, you about to be when we're done with this. I got I got a job for you. <laughs> yeah. But you in Atlanta, through. you in Atlanta, that, and I think Atlanta is like music central. Oh have yeah, you, you seeing about, everybody? Have you thought about like recruiting artists right there? No, nah, he's because most of your artists is from here. Yeah. yeah, so everybody, this is the question everybody asked me that right there. So <laughs> it's like, um, it ain't even, I don't avoid it. You feel me? Like, I get people in my DM, you know what I'm saying, uh, from other places, but I just know that, like, man, I'm just, I'm just so up here with it. You feel me? I just get the game from there and bring it back bring up it here. Back, yeah. You dig? Or, or, or it just come to me, if, you know, and I just implement it. You dig? Mm -hmm. So. I I, I know I talk to people about structure all the time. Like Dallas, you know, needs that structure. Yeah. Needs that. Needs those people in place to where people can feel like there is a structure in place. Because when you look at Houston, or when you look, you see you got the Jay Prince over there. Or if you look up on the East Coast, you got uh, you got uh, say Jay Z up there. Or if you look in Atlanta, you might have a. a, a uh, and you got 1501, you got Carl Crawford, shout out Carl Crawford. But, you know, or you got a, a Jermaine Dupree. You see what I'm saying? We mm. need that structure. Let me tell you this. We need so. a structure that people can believe in and they can say, okay, that's a great structure. I love the beat, way they moving in Dallas. There's some people that's in certain particular, forward. particular positions that shouldn't be there. I get it. That's why... Is like that, and it ain't gonna get no better. It ain't gonna get no, no, no. What it, what you just said, what it's supposed to be until then. Now you having me on here, me coming is like people know what I am, and they know what's up. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So they are, you know. So people are people that you know, um, people that I know personally, are in these positions. And they, 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 they hold the whole damn DFW back because of a, a ego or a pride thing. Not no, you don't owe me no money. Or I had sex with your wife or your woman. Or, or, I, or I ran over your, your dog in my car. Not none of that shit. It's, I know you got some power, E. Mm -hmm. So you can't come on boss talk. You ain't coming on here. What you, nah, we ain't doing that. Mm -hmm. Nah, mm -hmm. I know who you is. You feel me? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what that's what go on out here, man. Yeah, and yeah. You, like I and when I when I started with Yeah Yeah, it was another cat out there, Mo Three, his manager, or whatever. It was nobody else uh, uh, doing this. You feel me? Uh, like that at that level. Mm -hmm. You dig? Um, so to answer your question, that's what that is. When 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 those people, and it's the thing, it ain't even about getting them out of where they at. Nigga, do your job properly. Like, do it what you're supposed to do. Yeah, stop, yeah. Stop, stop doing it for yourself. Or yeah, stop, yeah. Stop holding these, yeah. these baby uh, issues that you have yeah. and, and spreading them upon a place that's supposed to flourish. We supposed to, we number four in entertainment in, a, in, a, in America, but the DFW is a consumer spot like yeah. they come here and kill the game and get money and, and go back everybody, home that's yeah. right. everybody says that but 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 people like you is a, i mean you are the light in, i'm just in, in the see, midst i'm of just it. not really starting to talk i ain't really been talking but you understand I've what i just working. said you, yeah. you, you're the light in the midst of it and so maybe you do need to talk you see what i'm saying because people need to know that they do have an avenue where they can come and say hey you know what i'm saying i can go here yeah. i mean k breeze a dope artist i ain't gonna lie i'm i'm i just sit and talk with her bro and I'm gonna be honest yeah. with you. That's that's and I seen her work with Lil yeah. Ronnie and the way she moving, man. And and just to be see a part truth. of that, to be a part of what you guys are doing, you see the professionalism, you see the artistry. It can't be denied. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So I, I can respect that. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at it and I'm saying, that's dope. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And 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 even like I say, Lil Ronnie pulled up, he did the show, you know, top off. Shout out top off, but it's been so yeah. I love the peace. I love the the unity. Yep. I love the loyalty. Yep. I love when people come together for the city. That's what I like. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm going to stand on. Yep. I was standing on that before we even came to this platform. And yeah. we would love to see more unity in the city. When I say more uni unity in the city, I'm talking about each person helping everybody because we all are here. We all want to rep Dallas want to yeah. rep Texas it why should it always be a uh, Houston against Dallas or uh you know what I mean we're all Texas or Dallas against or Dallas, Dallas against Hell Dallas yeah. you know what I mean yeah. we're all Texas and 
a lot has to do with because I hear so many different is it egos. Things. It's okay. It's egos. It's it's communication. The same thing. I'm gonna always go back to the way in which I may talk to you and you don't like the way how I spoke to you, but it's just the way how I talk. I didn't mean nothing by it. Mm-hmm. Instead of being the bigger person and saying, "Hey, let's talk about," it. I'm just trying to educate you on certain things. But yeah. you feel like, "Oh, you trying to educate me? You ain't bigger than me. Who are you to try to educate mm-hmm. me?" Instead of trying to say, "Okay, I'm trying to learn." People, as you say, ego, but communication. How I could have said that in a different way for you to really say, "Okay, let, let let's do work. Let's bring this city together. Let's this." You know what I mean? Communication is and essential. Then, it's and then not only that, you hurt my feelings. Instead of be, me being mad at you and talking crap about you, pick up the phone and said, man, you know, this is how I felt about Yeah, PGF Sharp was on here the other week, and he said that's you know what, what happened I mean? with him and De- DeRez Deshaun. Right. He said that he, they did that song together, um, and I can't remember what that song was right mm-hmm. now. Manipulation, maybe? I don't remember. It was that. something. But anyway, um, he said that he, DeRez had got shot, and they were friends, mm-hmm. and he didn't call him. But he didn't know about it because he was focused on other stuff. But Derez felt some kind of way. Because you my homeboy. And I think you I'm saying his name. You know him, right? Derez? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he, he was like, he felt some kind of way about it. But then they was able to finally talk and come together, you know, yeah. and, and straighten it out. And then they did that song. But you have situations and, like that where but, you but have people. But that's the communication. Like, right. Yeah. People if you still don't, don't do talk it, up to now because of certain things yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. But that was a dope, dope, dope moment in the show. They don't talk. They go to the internet. Right, yeah. right, and then um, it escalates from for there. Sure. All it takes is picking up the phone and talking to somebody or texting somebody because yes, you don't talk to me, and I pick I pick up the phone and call you. You might not answer me, but text people gonna read that text regardless whether they want to reply to you or not. They are gonna read that text. You people know what didn't I mean? die because they didn't went to the internet. You right, you right. They didn't lost their lives. Yeah, you right. Some internet shit. Yeah, you right. You know but how can we fix? But how can we fix Dallas in a way where? Because I've heard entertainers who live here in Dallas. No, no, listen to this. It's not just, you know, a certain way. I'm talking in every way. Because you have uh, entertainers who live here who perform everywhere else, go everywhere else to perform, but they don't get love to perform here and get paid here. You know what I mean? You're talking about the ones that's from here, right? From here. I'm talking about when I mean Fix Dallas, Fix Dallas Entertainment, people will fly from out of town to come here and perform and get paid really good. Good money. And, you know, get all of the excitement, everything from Dallas, and then leave yep. with all of that. <laughs> Why, how can we fix Dallas entertainment system? I mean, people you talk working together. You talk together. to a man that's supposed to know. I'm yeah. talking yeah. people working together. Because Dallas it starts Fort with, to me, it starts with the man- managers. It starts with the people above the managers. Yep. Because... If the managers can all come together, they can bring the artists together as well. And, you know, because y'all are the ones in their ears talking to them, the artists, to, you know, get them on a certain level to work together with each other. So the managers, the the radio station, mm-hmm. the DJs, mm-hmm. the club owners. Everybody got to work. It's going to take a collective. It's everybody. But and, and I'm going to tell you though, something, but your, your girl said earlier that she getting money. You know, it's a lot of them come on this platform that ain't even getting money. Mm-hmm. They just look the part. Yeah. You, you, you know that, don't you? Yeah. Oh, they still in the streets. They ain't, they ain't making that money off of the, a lot of them fake views and all kind of stuff going on. You know that. Yeah. And, 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 they, and they look the part. And, uh, you know, Instagram like the army. You can be all you can be. Yep. You can be whatever you want to be. Yep. In the army. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you can be anything you want to yeah. be on Instagram. Yeah. So a lot of times, uh, uh, used to, you had to pull up in the Bentley. Yeah. Now, you can stand beside it. Pull you up ain't even got to pull up in it. Pull up in the Bentley that you didn't even own. Yeah, yeah so, so you, you know, we don't know. But yeah. we do know they're getting on here and they like, and I'm asking some of them, they like, I'm like, how do you get your money? You know, I'm... <laughs> I'm, a I'm still in the streets. I'm just being real. I'm yeah. popping these questions because I want to know I'm a hustler. Yeah. How you getting that ROI? Yeah. You got to have some money. Like, like, why? You ain't doing no show. You can't get no show with fake views. And you can't get no show if you beefing with everybody. You can't get no shows when you beefing with everybody. So, 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 how are you getting paid? You look good in your little video with you and your homeboy by four of y'all and y'all getting close <laughs> with the camera so everybody think it's more than what it is. Yeah. 
No, you ain't hear me. Like these niggas is really trying to pull yeah, it off, I, I, and then at the end of the day, they they get they fluff them views or whatever. Yeah. And next thing you know, everybody talking about, oh, he hot. You know, he done tricked the masses. Yeah. It's 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 man say, it's definitely going on. But what I will say is that we have enough dope dope male and female artists. We have enough dope male and female producers. We have enough dope male and female DJs in the street clubs, in the strip clubs, and on the radio stations to remedy all of that in one night. Wow. It's really like that. We we got everything here. All the, all the flavor is here. That's what they, why you think everybody come I think, here? I think it takes for everybody, because a lot of people can talk about it and nobody don't do anything about it. So I think it takes a group of people coming together, sitting down and say, hey, this is what we need to do. Let's start it from here and go out and do this. A, a plan of action, so to Supreme. say. Supreme, how does, how does, how does Atlanta um, versus Dallas, you live in Atlanta, you looking at it from a whole different way, from two different angles. When you look at Dallas and then you look at Atlanta, what is it that you feel like Dallas is missing? Man, so it's like this. And I'm gonna say this. This this is what I believe. The talent is in Dallas, Fort Worth, and Arlington, and and these little suburban things, these little cities, whatever. Atlanta got talent. It's talent down there, right? But what they have, uh, they have some of the, the the engineers and the producers is what push those artists out. But the game is like this. We don't have a Gucci Man, a Ludacris, a T.I., a Waka Flocka, a, a, a Goody Mob. You know what I'm saying? We don't have a Rich Homie Quan. We've never had none of that. So You had some dope artists here lately that could have formulated and, 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 and appreciated that. You said could have. We, we're yeah. talking about well, the people I'm saying is on your wall. Yeah, 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 for sure. You feel me? And mm -hmm. they on there for a reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they stomped down. They entrepreneurs. But that's how they ran into me. We have the talent here. You dig what I'm saying? So until the program at the top gets reset and people get out of certain positions, however it's going to happen, then you will see things that you ain't never thought would happen around here. You have, okay. you can literally have, literally, I'm going to be for real. This, this includes male and female, 20, 20. I'm going to say a 20 strong, like, you know, they Grammy winners in this area. Wow. I'm telling you, it's really like that. This shit is going on because I know because how do you get a K Breezy? How do you get a Yayo, yeah, Yo, a Trap Boy, a Yellow, a Mo3, uh, Erica Banks, an Asian Doll, a Tay Money, a Splurge, a Kenny B, a Stop Six Low Key, a Throw It Essay. You feel me? I could, a Bobby Sessions. Yeah. You feel me? I can keep going. Yeah. I can really keep going. And they right here. Jason Lyric. All these they people all are here. right here. So how do you, a little Ronnie Mother F, how do you, how do you have all of this? I just named about 15 people you right there. You right here. The they here. So what's going on? It's, it's bigger than them. It's the people like what your wife said is like, we have to come and do something, but that's where the game is really fucked up at. There. At the, at where I'm at. Yeah. You, the, the, my peers or whatever you want to call yeah, them, yeah, yeah, they yeah. more fucked up than artists. Wow. I'm telling you some real... We, I'm listening. We, we real boss talk. This real is spit. This real. boss talk 101. And I know everybody personally. I know these cats. So wow. what I'm saying, ain't no ain't no rebuttal or no, yeah. oh, he lying. He, it ain't none of that. This mm -hmm. for real. And they know that. I get it. You dig what I'm saying? No, I get it. See, me, I protect everybody. Well, I was protecting everybody's feelings. I ain't doing that no more. I yeah. know how you really feel. I know how you feel for real. I know you don't mean that. I know you ain't really finna. You know what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. know you ain't really like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't doing that no more because that's why these kids is dying and they and they Fort Worth, all them motherfuckers is in jail. Wow. I, they all in jail or they dead. You wow. feel me? Mm -hmm. or, you on, or you don't know about them, but they the dopest nigga you ever didn't heard of, but you ain't never heard him because you ain't going to hear him. You feel me? Twisted Black back in the days. Did you? Did, how did? What did you? What did you? Well, he's a he's a gentleman and a scholar. When, when he when I, the music is so dope. Like yeah. I remember meeting the little, the me and the little nigga was we was yeah. at peeping Tom together, nigga. That's the nigga the had an army fatigue, nigga. We yeah. were out there kicking it, boy. I was a bad dude back then too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but 
and could play that pool, nigga. All right, take nah, a nigga out. No, we can say, stop it, you man. Ready. Say, bro, stop it, bro. He'll whoop you with one hand. Oh, whoa, that's what the wife said. The wife said it. The wife said it. The wife said it. One hand. Boy, that made me feel good. Boy, that, I, I whooped that nigga back. with this microphone. Get the damn microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I just shoot the nigga with the mic. You know what I'm talking about? Man, whenever you ready, I'll nah, never gonna do that. Do it, that's man. what I that's do. Love, bro. I like that, man. Yeah, I, man, I do those things, man. That's, and it makes and that don't doesn't it give you a peace, man. Yeah. It gives you a real See, people, good. people I'm from Fort Worth and I and I and the, the, the artists I work with, they you know, they you know they you know they that the ones I did work with, they ride wide, whatever, but Man, I listen to, to Layla Hathaway. Already, man. Wake up wait, 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 wait. We got to get that top there. three anyway. Top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Come on now. Any genre. Any genre. Everybody uh, have to answer this question. Number one. Male so, or female. Man, say, Number one. Are you it for could real? Be any, yes. yeah, it could be any, any genre. genre. Number one is Mike Jack. Mike Jack. Michael Jackson. Yeah. Mike, we had a guy Ooh. on here the other day said Michael Jackson was not even better than Chris Brown. Man, please. <laughs> we ain't never seen nothing like Michael Jackson, man. I don't, I don't even, him that. I don't even think that dude is from this realm. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm just yeah. telling you the yeah, truth. Yeah. That's, that's different, man. Since he was five, six years old. Oh, he man. Been, when, he hit that, when he had that song, uh, when, when I Had You, uh, uh, the one that Sammy Davis Jr. wrote. Uh, not Sammy Davis Jr., but Smokey Robinson wrote mm -hmm. it. You know what I mean? And I wonder who's loving you. The one in Vogue. Yeah. Redone. Boy, hey, he wasn't but this tall, nigga. Come on, man. And killed it. You ain't never heard nothing come out no but matter of fact, Smoker Robinson said, you know what? Uh I ain't gonna sing that, so it was my song. You can have this. It ain't for me no more. Y'all said three, man. Y'all gotta, yeah, gotta give it to no, Mike first. I gotta number do, two. Y'all gotta do uh, No, we're not changing the three. We only doing three. No, no, we gotta do three. Yeah, yeah. Everybody that ever been in this platform, give us three hard three the hard way. Mm -hmm. One and two is usually the easiest ones, and then three. Is yeah. the hard. Number two. <laughs> Man. And he loved music. And That's why it's doing your it. Your like favorite. That. Nobody else's favorite. Yeah. This yeah. Is yeah, I know deep. who Eddie Mercury is from Queen. Eddie Mercury? Do you know who that is? No. Tell me the song, then maybe I might. From know. Queen. Man, y'all pull it up. Y'all gotta pull Eddie it up. Mer Eddie Mercury? He's dead. He died from AIDS, but he's a. Uh, he's a. Uh, R&B or what? Nah, is he's, he's, he's not even American. Um, Rap? Wow. Y'all heard of the. Y'all never heard of the group Queen? Yeah, I heard of the Queen. Yeah, I heard of the Queen. We will. Yeah, we I know that song. Yeah. But, but he, him, Eddie Mercury himself is the the dopest vocalist. Like he's crazy with that. With that, y'all gotta look him I up. I like this guy. I got it on vinyl. You hear me? Yeah. For my, you did. I, like, I in just real love life. But he's your number two. Yeah, I'm gonna but, go with Eddie Mercury. I, I like you, man. You all right with me? You coming up with some stuff I ain't heard? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Eddie Mercury. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. Michael Jackson, like Eddie him. Mercury. Who's I know he loves music. Number three. Number three, <laughs> um, I'm gonna go Tupac. Tupac, that's yeah. dope. That's dope. What, yeah. what what was it about? Uh, I ain't gonna say Michael. We talked about that, but what what was it about? Uh, say Eddie Mercury. What was it? Was it the music? Uh, was yeah, it man. the sound? When y'all when y'all look it up, the songs that that I'm that y'all y'all yeah. gonna know them. Y'all know those. Yeah, songs. yeah, Y'all yeah, didn't yeah. know who who was who, behind who was it. Behind it. Yeah. So like he, he just um. Eddie Mercury, man, he he just uh, that dude, dope, man. He, he, you know, he's one of I could have went anywhere with it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I'm gonna give it to Eddie. And, and what about I, Tupac? What what make you like uh, Tupac? Man, I, you know, I just you, you know, I you really I, gotta ask. I can look at That's what's real favorite, though. So. I can look at what's real outside of the rap and in the rap because the, his message is still going on today. Wow! I just told one of my one of my partners that's uh, about to be thirty. Um, what I was something that I heard Pac say. Well, it's it's the truth though. But it was like, you don't you don't really hear too many loud mouth thirty year olds. You feel me? Yeah, because the yeah. world and broke them down. Yeah. But whatever whatever however it happened, there ain't too many loud thirty year olds. You feel me? You get to a point to where you like you not you not as loud as you were when you was 23, 24, 19, 20, 21 or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's so his message. And uh, I was just watching him uh, when he did a jail interview like. Like two weeks ago, maybe maybe less than that, um, just to get that game, man. Them dudes, them dudes, full of game. Wow, like, like I, real I'm, game. I'm gonna break you off <laughs> something now. What, uh, who the dopest artist to ever ever come through? Who the dopest lyricist to ever come through the Dallas Fort Worth area? Lyricist come from come from here. The dopest, or, or just the, the 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 best artist to ever come through Dallas, Texas, oh. Fort Worth, Texas. K. Breezy. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. 
not easy. Easy. Now, now y'all don't even. You mean that what she did? That's yeah. cool. You feel? That's me? cool. He said, that's and cool. that girl is that girl is is um that's Missy Elliott like two point like in real life though. Wow. I'm for real. No, 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 no. I I, I just I felt her. Yeah, that's like that's you can feel you can feel yeah. it. You can she's, feel she's it, the nigga. Real deal. It's like it's like sticking your hand over there by electric socket. Yeah. You can feel it, nigga. She you the know? real deal. Yeah, I know it's real. You ain't, ain't got to tell me. And I've been around like I like like um. What's buddy name just got out of jail? Mr. Lucci is dope at rapping. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mo three was a phenom, a yeah. phenom. Yeah. Um, Goyeo has everything you want when it comes to to that shit that's on your wall. Yeah, he, yeah, he yeah. That yeah. He in that. real life. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but K Breezy like her work ethic, um, how solid she is. Like, so you don't get many people that can make the beat, write the hook. And Record. put the raps down. They don't. They don't do that. Wow. Pimp C do that for real. Wait a minute. You heard that? Say it again. The pimp. That nigga do that. The I, pimp, I try to tell the people. Pimp do that. That he, he did it well. Yeah. For real. Williams. He do that. For real. Do that. Timberland used to do that. Timberland you know used saying? to do it. He yeah. didn't do it on the level that they did it. Kanye West do that. Kanye West do that. Yeah. Now we talking. See now people this don't that, do that. I like this. You know what I'm saying? I'm just telling you. He really yeah. talking about what's really going down. Like you don't find that that's not normal, yeah. and I know that. Mm -hmm. and, and when and, I and she's a female, so don't and she leave a that female. out. Yeah. And she a female. Man, Breezy didn't Breezy didn't help some of the bigger artists in the DFW. I'm not gonna say no names with their songs. Wow, I believe it. I'm I'm telling you, I, I can feel her energy, bro. Real talk. And she I ain't can, done either. I know. You know I, I, like I said, I can't wait to see y'all, you know, where, where y'all whip it up. I'm going to say this too, though. I'm going to just say this, E. So some of the people that you hang with, man, they ain't like, like, well, you don't hang with them, but you do. I don't hang with nobody. You, 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 yeah, let me you get that right. Me? Oh, yeah. oh, I'm sorry, no, no, baby. Not, not her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they man, like, they, uh, they not right, E. And, yeah. and, and they in certain positions. And they, and, so and, you and, saying some of the people that done been on the show. Hell yeah. That's what you say. And some that you've mentioned. And some of them, some of them uh, you don't know, like my East Texas folks, some of those people. Nah, not that, them. Yeah, I'm talking about yeah. these cats. Out of Dallas and Fort Worth. Yeah, you know them. You've said they, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They try their best to take this girl down, man. Like, for no reason. But the thing is, you... It's as a man, you being. as a manager though you supposed to excel all that we do we son that we so, do that and I I love the new music I just seen yeah so I know it's it's on a whole nother level yeah they can't stop this but at the okay, end okay I want to say this okay but in everything she that shut you me do, down she says, I'm okay in I everything that you do you always have to turn a negative into a positive yeah or else if you consume yourself with negativity it's not gonna it slows down anything. production. It slows down production. It's not going to produce anything for you. It well, slows when I say it down. that, when I say that, meaning all those people that you're talking about that try to take her down, don't look at it in that way. That is trials to make you stronger. Mm -hmm. That's dope. You understand what I mean? You don't because if no trials ever come, there's you, there's no elevation for you. Yeah. And sometimes those trials can make you elevate even faster because if they keep coming. And you stay positive, you're going to keep on elevating even quicker. And that's probably the reason why you're in a life. But the thing I can say is, see that wall you was talking about a while ago? Mm -hmm. Those people, that white guy right there, Steve Madden, uh, that's the shoe guy. He worth a hundred and some million dollars. One of the coolest cats when I talk to him. You see him with my wife down there. You keep seeing him on the wall. But the more you see these people and you deal with these people who are on the next level, they don't, they focused on they, they can't see nothing else. And every time we talk, the conversation is going like that. I'm being real. Mm -hmm. And that's what I found out. The more it seemed like the more success that they gained, the more they, the lighter things became. Does that make sense? To yeah. You? you see what I'm saying? And and it's so dope when you talk to them that it, it, it's so dope because you do like, dang, it's a spirit they have. Even talk, and, and I don't even have Andy Hill figure up there when me and him talk. Tommy Hill figure, brother, yeah. younger brother. I got wow! Well, I got pictures of him up there, bro. Yeah. So yeah, I dealt with a lot of people, man. Me and my wife, and we ended up in a lot of places in our life, and I mm. thank God for it. But those people showed me something about y'all. Some good people, man. Yeah, they showed I, me I something. I came man. over here, man. And we appreciate you, you for coming. But they showed me a lot, man. They showed me a lot about what it takes to be really successful, man. Mm -hmm. And it make you think. And I found it in 
in Mac McKay, the one who pretty much I told you my mentor that yeah. died. He was a white guy. But I'm just saying that I seen that same spirit. And that's how I know that this is the one I need to be around. Like spirits that's going to push me to the next level. I have no time to hang out with ducks when I'm an eagle. Yeah. that's that, Look, and you ain't got no time to hang out with eagles when you're a dragon, E. Real talk. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Real talk. I'm in dragon mode right yeah, now. Yeah, I like it. Because like negativity life. will come. Don't no, worry like about that. that. Negativity a- will come because God put these things at trial and tribulations. Jesus was tried. He was. He did all of that. So why you don't think that we gonna get that too? Yeah. We gonna go through it. You too, understand right? what I mean? But it's growth. That's yeah. all you have to look at it because a lot of times too many people dwell on the negativity, and I talk to people about that all the time. Family members, you know, people who can't forgive people for different things in their lives, yeah. and they don't realize why their life isn't going the way they want to, mm-hmm. whether it be they can't find the right woman or you know, their kids are acting out or, you know, just whatever it is. You have to have that positivity in your life so that the people that you love around you can feed off of that. And you know well, I'm I mean? looking at Supreme as being, I mean, he could be the, the one to bring Dallas and yeah. Fort Worth back together for as a whole. I'm being real. Yeah, I, I look on a whole nother level when I think about things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I don't, I, I don't, I see. You know what? Uh, Jay Z said some one time that was so funny when he was on that uh, "Every Day I'm Hustling" remix. Yeah. He said, "I'm in the air. I don't hear niggas' corny raps." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, <laughs> like where real. I'm at, where I'm at. Yeah. I don't even hear them. Like like <laughs> we over, we we going places, and then he went and got that billion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? That's where we at with it. And like I say, when I look at you and I look at the talent in you and the way your demeanor is, that's the part that's going to take the whole thing where it need to be. Focus on progression. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the dopest thing that I've seen in you when I met you in person and yeah. on the phone. Your demeanor hadn't changed. Yeah. And that's what a good manager is. Mm-hmm. I know what a good, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a dude that deal with people. You know how I am. A yeah. good manager don't never change. Oh yeah, he always in the same ain't composure. Ain't For what sure. came and I've seen it all the time, bro. It ain't nothing new. <laughs> Go ahead. Ain't know what comes to my mind is that when one door closes, two more will open. Two more will. But so sure. you know what? It's part that kills all of us as human beings is the fact that we have no patience to wait till those other two Go doors open. open. Yeah. Because when the door closes and we're so mad and we get so focused on certain things, the way you some, know you, know, you know, you know, because that's the one thing I always pray about is the fact that this help me with my patience because. With me for sure, right? With you, somebody. Nah. Like that a lot see, of see, th- th- that's why this podcast, which y'all doing, is 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 needed. Yeah, it's important. Yeah, because of the message that y'all kicking. See, most of these, most of these, most of these platforms, if you come on there and talk, they'll let them folk come on there and say anything. And they're on there asking them particular no, questions no, no, no. to to get you dig about what I'm saying. Clout. But we care about the person. Yeah. Your story is way more important than all that. Yeah, see, your they can't legacy, do like that, though. No, I'm talking about your legacy, though. Yeah. For us, yeah. I know for me, I like to hear what make you tick mm-hmm. because that's what's going to help somebody else to tick. Yeah. You get it? Yep. It can't help nobody else. So all that other stuff won't help nobody in this platform, Boss Talk 101. Boss Talk 101 was put here to help bosses to talk to each other. Yeah. On a whole nother level. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. also to get to the root of certain situations because even we talk about generational sin. We won't say the word curse. <laughs> yeah, we it's change not, that. We, we, we change that. It's but sin, yeah. Because then example, say, say you're not, but say you are an abusive man to mm-hmm. your woman. And then we're like, why are you like that? Why are you like that? But then your dad was the same way to his mm-hmm. mom, to his, to your mom. But that's what you grew up seeing. But people who just see you beating up on your wife don't know that. Like yeah. he's just so mean. He's, but it starts from somewhere. All of that comes from somewhere. somewhere. But people don't take the time to find out. Okay, why are you like that? And sometimes you don't even know why you're like that. Yeah. You know, because there's so many people since we started this, I realized that a lot of people, because older people have been coming on and they said they realized the reason why they acted out as a child, because whether they were raised by a single mom, their dad was never there. And they at that time, they don't re- they did not realize that that's the reason why they had all of that tension, all of that, you know, built up that why they were acting out. Mm-hmm. Yes, they love their mom, but they couldn't they didn't have that male role model to say, sit down. This is what 
You know, because boys listen to their mom somewhat with certain things, but not like a yeah, man. Yeah, nah. You know what I mean? My little boy right now, he 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 she is, she, he know what's going on with his mama, and he know what's going on with me. He know that right now at four years old. Kids on a the whole, they know what to come to their moms for yep. and what to go to their dads for. Yep. You know what I mean? So I say that to show that there's always a root to something. Yeah. People don't look for the root. People just see what they see and just react to it. Yep. I'm going to say something, you know, when, when I look at our whole situation, something that came to my mind, you know, I thought about this right here. When my boy did this right here, you know what I'm saying? Nah, you got it. Now, now, listen, listen. <laughs> when I heard him do this, when he did it, when he yeah. came home. Yeah. Bro, you gotta it, go, ain't, bro. it ain't nothing that a person can't knock down. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? It ain't nothing that a person can't change. <laughs> yeah, am I real? Mm-hmm. I, look, look, man, you it can change. It starts here. It's, uh, and, and, and it's if a it mental change, thing. He said, "See, you know how much money we could make if it changed. You know what I mean? And it can. Now, it it might not. Dallas could be but so it could. much better. Dallas, Dallas Fort Worth. Dallas Fort Worth. Mm-hmm. What Dallas, I say, Dallas, Fort Worth, it's all into the Grand well. Prairie, all that. Come know, on, y'all man. Y'all know Post Malone down the street some down. I right? know it, man. But at the end of the day, I don't. I don't see this right here. Yeah. For me, listen to me. I don't play with it. Yeah. I don't even care. Listen, you mine. Yeah. I don't care about that other stuff. I'm yeah. being real. Yeah. I don't expect nothing from that other stuff. Yeah. But from you, when I look at you, you look like me. Yeah. So that's what I'm concerned myself yeah. with. Not trying to be mean, but but what I've been through, Post Malone ain't been through, brother. For sure. I'm but not what you've been through. Post Malone ain't been through, bro. And not to say that we don't have a lot of diversity here. Correct. We love, we, we, we love him, we, we but love it, ain't, it ain't the same, bro. Yeah. I'm just a realist. I'm being <laughs> real, bro. I got to be real. Yeah. I can't be none of Get the mic. Take the mic from me. <laughs> uh, I, I got to be real, bro. Yeah. I can't, I can't, I, I don't listen to Eminem. Everybody, he the best rapper alive for somebody, but for me, no. You, you, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. a difference, bro. And the crazy and thing And I ain't got time to play with it because these are my people. Yeah. That's why this black-owned business mm-hmm. been here 15 years, going on 16 years. Yeah. That's why I pulled up on Nipsey Hussle at, at, uh, uh, at the marathon. That's why I pulled up on uh, Gary mm-hmm. at, uh, at the Purple Carpet in Miami. That's why I pulled up on uh, when and we see Jumbo. And don't expect nothing from nobody no, I don't else to do the same for us. I, I, I pull up on whoever doing business. That's why I pulled up on Sean Cotton mm-hmm. today because I love black businesses, bro. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Don't matter. Don't matter to me uh, about, and I'm not trying to be funny, but don't. I, I want to see us do better as a people, man. Yeah, and we you understand. Everybody. And I can't sit up here and and and, and pull you up and or, or, with 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 negativity. I got to pull you up with positivity. And you see what I'm saying? I got God the right one on the boy. Because yeah. God <laughs> placed God placed each and every one of us in everybody's life for a reason. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. you understand what I mean? Sometimes yeah. you would be like, why is that person hanging with that person? That oh, person man. can stop that person from doing something crazy one day down the line, and you don't realize that it's because of that influence. But K Breeze, K Breeze, K Breeze is seeing something in you, bro. Yeah, you she, said she, that. She know what's going on. Did you hear what I just said? Yeah, that's serious, bro. Yeah, that ain't nothing to play with. She know what's up. Did you hear what I just said? Yes, sir. <laughs> that's dope, man. And let me tell you, a lot of people. I seen who, some in you. Oh yeah, what, what was it? I mean, you know, I'm here. <laughs> That's my guy. And you know, thank you so people much, who have man. known us for, for years before. You just met us now, but people have known us for years before this podcast. Have all I've always heard them say, even now to him, that this has always been you. Yeah, how they you talk, always say that. How you are, like, what you, you say. Be, you made this for this. Always you made him. for this. I'm like, he doesn't sugarcoat anything. He says real. whatever is on yeah. the top of his head. That's just how he is. He might talk a little bit too much. Whoa, but whoa, whoa. That's now him. that's why the show about to end. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? See, somebody, talk. he's shaking his head back there. That's what you talking about, my son? No, black. Black black don't know nothing. Black don't crack, but black <laughs> don't know how to act. You know? That's how black, I like black. Black, you turn around, black look like he, 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 be, he stay with black, me. That's my that's my guy. What's black doing back there? He black. stay here with me. That's my guy. That's my guy. He, he always around. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, hey, you'll see family. <laughs> you'll see family come in, man. We all love right. him. He, he, he's been here all, with me ever since before I started this. You know, the people that been here, I thank God for it. He can remember I put him on his first video. Yeah. Yeah, I say, he's like, man, I don't do that, E. I'm like, no, nah, man, I need you on this. Just stand there and say this. And yeah, yeah, Black brought it, man. Spook come yeah. through. Shout out Spook, to Spook, Spook, man. Come through, Spook come man. through, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's my that's my guy, man. Yeah. So what what would you tell a young dude? I see dude? how you rolling, E. Hey, what, what would you tell a young <laughs> dude that, uh, that, 
that's trying to be a manager in in, in um. Dallas. Or in Fort Worth. So uh, uh, wait a minute, and, and he got and an artist come to him, and he's he's he he never done it before. Just like how you at that first time yeah. when they came to you, what would you tell him to prepare um, him for what he about to deal with, man? So I'm actually talking to a guy now in Atlanta that found me on the internet, and he wants to be a manager. Okay. So I just basically, um, you know, it, it, man, it. So you nowadays see what happened to me was a blessing. Yeah. Yayo, Yayo was was it's not many like him. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So, like the artist has to be something to manage. Okay. Now you can pull some shit out the dirt and make it into a diamond. Mm -hmm. You, mm -hmm. but how many times do that happen? Yeah, that, that, that ain't that ain't so. No more. The advice, the advice will be um, pretty much decided on the artist. You okay, dig what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. or if I if I if I see something in them, or if I like them, if they trying to be a manager, because um, I gave away so much free game, e like then then I felt like I felt like it was being taken advantage of. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Feel yeah. me? So now I'm real particular. I still slip up and give it because it's just in me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but I'm kind of particular about like what I tell people and who I tell it to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying so I don't, I don't really got no advice for no manager. Just if just yeah, if y'all watching, if they just, gotta watch you. Just hit me up and and and, I, and, I, and then we could go from there. I, I I'm a, I'm gonna look at what's going on. I'm gonna handle it accordingly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's gonna never be nothing negative though. You know what I'm saying, but. You know, that's that's how I get down nowadays. Man, I, I love I have it. one last question. I love his energy. You're a dope dude, man. He is. I appreciate yeah, it. I'm, I'm telling you, I know. I, I know a lot of people, I know bro. you know. I'm a, I know a lot of people, <laughs> bro. I know a lot. I'm I know about, you do. I'm going to figure it out quick. I like. told you on the phone, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My question is, um, whether you intentionally do, do this or not, but when you meet an artist, do you, over a period of time, do you, like, test them? Give them certain tests that you created, and you're like, you know, just to see how they react. So you know if they're gonna be loyal, true. Uh, so I, I would say it's not. It wouldn't. Yeah, you could. I test them, but it's not a test. You know what I'm saying? Because eventually, um, it's it's gonna come out. I know, you know eventually, but sometimes you feel like you don't want to waste your time sometimes. You know what I mean? I, Especially I, when you've been burnt so shit, many times. I already know before I even do that, like, even have a second conversation with them where it's going to go. I, I, I've been, um, I can. I, I know what's up now when it comes to that. So I know me talking on the phone with you is, I can't do this. This ain't what I'm talking This ain't, we ain't doing that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So there ain't nothing they could tell me or show me. It's going to, like, other than who they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can't trick me no more. Yeah, yeah. Now, and if you trick me, you shatan. You the devil. Yeah, 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 you, yeah. You yeah. By me, you the devil. Already. For real. No, no, I get it. Well, hey, man, I'm going to tell you, man, I appreciate you for coming on the show, bro. Appreciate y'all for Say, man, me. we love you, bro. I love y'all. And at the end sure. of the day, when you come here, if you got an artist you breaking, yeah. you're welcome here, man. Mm -hmm. For sure. Anytime you got somebody that you, you, you Let me you say know, this real fast. You, you say, can, you, uh, can he be brother? Stop six low key is is... The, the God of Fort Worth and Stop Six. Stop Six is the most known neighborhood yeah, in yeah, Fort Worth. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He run that whole thing. Okay. He in Atlanta right now. Okay. Though that say is um, from here, he's more than just a Hispanic artist. He's okay. a dope individual. He owns a dispensary. Wow. He's a jeweler. And he's a dope ass artist. Wow. You feel me? Yeah. And okay. I got, and you already know about what's up with K Breeze. Oh, so man. my artist on autopilot you feel yeah, me yeah they know what's going on with themselves yeah they know what's up with me um they don't they don't try to overload me yeah i don't overload them i talk to all of them every day wow man thank you so much for coming on the show man all right let me, uh, let me do this man, hey, hold on man. you gotta lock it up though so oh you gotta lock it real. up <laughs> okay <laughs> you know show, real. I, I, see I, show. Ain't, I ain't know that yeah but i can learn you see what i'm saying my boy Supreme just showed me how to lock it up. You nigga gonna have to lock up. If you can't lock, then we know you ain't real. No, you ain't real. <laughs> I got your boy, man. Sure. It's a unique hustle, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. Boss Talk. Yes, and sir. We out.